Hey everybody, we're back out at Wolf Creek Lake. Uh, brought Bella back out, and uh, we're gonna hopefully go meet a uh, briar, briar goat killer. And um, he's supposed to be out here camping with his son and maybe one of his friends this weekend. So maybe find him. The place is pretty crowded as expected, but um, we're gonna maybe try and catch some fish. And I might stay in camp tonight. I'm all loaded up and ready to go. Got my earth pack and uh and everything i need so we're gonna get on it so guys we're out here at wolf creek lake and um i don't think i'm gonna camp today it's july 4th it is hot <laughs> but um i think what i'm gonna do is go up in the woods up here and grab a couple of these what i think are bow leaks um i'm gonna go ahead and pick a few or cut a few and then take them back to the house and identify them because i don't have any service up here I don't really know any other way to do it. So, I'm fairly certain they're a bully. I don't know if they're edible, but uh, let me go show you these guys and we'll see what you think. And uh, we'll get some better information here um, in a little while and uh, check back with you. All right, so we're in Western North Carolina. We got some rhododendron, um, there's some ash. Uh, there's a big white pine, a couple big white pines, and a white oak. Uh, another white oak. I was going to camp right here in this little flat spot today, but it's just too hot for me and Bella. So. I did notice these bow leets, or what I think are bow leets. So. <clears throat> Kind of a dead giveaway, and the only reason I think that is if you look and see that real thick base, kind of a small top. <laughs> I've been told that you know, myself sometimes, but so that's kind of an identifying uh, factor uh, in mushrooms myself. But uh, we'll go ahead and cut this guy and set the camera up for you. Right in the face. All right, so super yellow when I cut it. It's got a super yellow, porous, doesn't have any gills, uh, porous underside of the cap. The mushroom is red, it's a pretty little mushroom. Um, I'm hoping, really hoping to identify this guy, so that'll be fun. I'm hoping uh, they're delicious too, because they look delicious. I know a lot of bow leeks are some of the best mushrooms you can find. So there's a couple more over here. I'll go ahead and harvest these too. Oh, they smell almost like chicken stock. That's insane. Man, I'm excited to find out about this. Let's we'll see if we can find any more. I'm gonna do a little quick little search. I'll leave these guys here and come back for them. I do see this guy. I'm not gonna pick it, but if y'all know what it is, like. Whoa, that was weird. Look, as soon as I touch it. Ooh, look what's happening. That's so crazy. Well, that's pretty cool <laughs> so maybe you guys can help me i don't know maybe you can tell me what this guy is as well as the what i think are bow leaves um maybe y'all if i haven't found out yet i'll still post the video i'm probably going to try and find out before i post the video but um if i haven't found out y'all can like and or uh comment in the comment section and let me know what it is or what i should look under so maybe um lessen my description it's growing around a bunch of sassafras and uh and all, all kinds of like white oak and general mountain species so i'm gonna go ahead and cut this guy so we can identify it uh, 
I mean, it's insane. It's like white milk pouring out of that. So, it doesn't smell terrible. There's not really any smell. Uh, it's true gills, they run into the stipe. Full, full stem. I don't know, I'm gonna go ahead and bring this home so I can try and identify it as well. So we will keep it separate from our other mushrooms. Make sure I handle them separately. All right guys, so we're out here, it's 4th of July. We're on Wolf Creek Lake, and I just met uh, Briar Goat Killer. It actually looks like there's some rain rolling in, so I'm gonna do this pretty quick, but we're gonna go get a little shot of him in the boat. All right guys, so I'm having a little too much fun today. I'm drinking a few beers. I don't just wanna hang out for like five hours. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue to drink beers and just go ahead and camp here for the evening. I did find a nice little spot, it's shaded and more importantly, no oh, people are door welling up there. Okay, more importantly, it's a nice cool stream, shaded area, nice flat spot. I think we can work with this. I think I can actually just pull my boat up into this creek channel right here, like almost to this base, but like right there, to the front of my camp. And no waves will mess with me or anything. So I think this is gonna be great. This is a good drone uh, landing and takeoff spot. Uh, should be a good one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stay for the night, guys. That's what I intended to do anyways. It was just so busy out here. I kind of got turned off, but that's what I came to do. Yeah! I'm gonna do it. All right, we got a dry spot. It's raining, I know y'all probably can't tell, but. Got a good little spot for tonight. I'm glad I chose to stay. It's gonna be a good evening. That looks like hail to the no no. What do you think, Bill? <laughs> Me, I kind of like it. I'm having a great time. <laughs> I'm noticing that this river's flowing, or this creek's flowing a little bit more, so it's kind of cool. You like it. I don't like it. Up. Have this little maple maple branch instead of what was right next to me, obviously. That's poisonous. It's not poisonous when it's 
super duper dead, like extremely dead, laying there. Like I burned it when I was freezing before one time on the Appalachian Trail. I'm burning it like a couple pieces right now, but I mean, that's like, like this is ready to end it. But I mean, you can see it. Ow. It's like super dead. Anyways, it's actually one of the, uh, or actually I think it is the first chemical warfare used in North America um, during the Civil War. Um, uh, Union soldiers would take uh, this rhododendron, like actually they would take these flowers right here. You see? You can see what I'm talking about. That's poisonous. All the sticky stuff on that flower. It's funny I found one, but they would boil these down and then they'd cook them into honey. And then, so they, they would like pack up their campsite, just like I would, and then they would like leave a jar of honey or something, you know, a half-eaten jar of honey somewhere. And um, the Confederate soldiers would come in and try and eat them. Well, they would eat them. And uh, they would feel fine and dandy and then about a day or two, well probably the next day or within six or eight hours their guts are just rotten and it won't kill you but they would they would ambush them they would wait till the whole people are just wiped out like shitting everywhere basically and come in and shoot you be an awful way to go so anyways it's time to cook some hot dogs i'm real excited about this one i'm gonna tell you right now All right, guys, we got camp set up. Got a good little fire going. Uh, sun setting, it's 4th of July, Wolf Creek Lake. I'm gonna go check out some fireworks here in a second. So much fun. I'm about to uh I'm about to put this drone in the air.
That was crazy. I got blocked in and uh, I've been sitting at the boat ramp for hours today. And uh, anyways, I'm finally out. I'm on my way home. I had a good trip. I'm positive about that one. Uh, I saw some of the, probably the best fireworks I've ever seen in my life. Actually, not probably. Hands down the best fireworks I've ever seen in my life. Like, that was actually cool to watch. I've never been super about fireworks but that was that was super cool um, so um, had a good trip I'm heading back and I might even uh, fly the drone around the orchard a little later and we'll get some footage of that maybe go up on top of the hill and, and uh, just relax a little bit so, all right catch catch you guys later